In this video I will show you how navigation works uh, in a React 18 project. So what you see here on this black box is my uh, React application in React 18. Um, and on the left side we see the running application, so web app. Uh, we start with the uh, front, uh, with the home a position so when we start there that's the what's opening there and so I want to move into a list so let's jump this one again just stop the machine so this is available again so this is my app it starts with the front uh, front slash so we are now in the home position like this uh, when we come to the home site or home, then it loads uh, it loads a component, uh, the home component. That's this one, home.jsx. So it renders a base text uh, when em whenever you open a, a site. Um, the and and then. I will show you how to forward it or how to go to another site. Uh, so when I switch now to the articles list, then you see the black uh, headline is still there, but the content inside the big block uh, is changing. And furthermore, when I'm here in a list, so this is uh, the path uh, articles from slash list, then uh, I would get a list and I want to switch to a single element so like this uh, articles read with the ID 1 and now when we open this one we see th this is the ID 2 1 and this is the ID 2 how do we get this um, for this we need uh, control C stop that stuff um, for this we first have to install in our application the install that's what we see here install dash dash save uh, react uh, dash uh, router dot com uh, uh, dash com when you have installed this one then it inserts the uh, router inside your packet JSON so that's the router 6 uh, from there on you have to go into your main uh, in, in your main app or in the app.js uh, in, in there in the uh, top line you're writing um, import browser router roots root and then from react router DOM that's what we have imported from there we create a big block and now uh, we keep in our stuff the our head, uh, our navigation bar in the uh, headline uh, stable. So this is, this will always be the the same. But whenever somebody enters a front slash, uh, then the big block, the content block, or diff uh, router or diff content will change. And that's why we enter inside this uh, content block the browser router. And then we have a selection of roots. So this is the uh, roots block, and inside the roots block is a single root. So we start from top down, from the root with the path equals front slash. Whenever somebody uh, types in the, the base URL or base URL front slash, uh, then the element equals home component should be shown so the home component is this one import home component from dot front slash um, components home home so we have here now our source folder then the components and inside the components is home folder home and inside the folder home is one component home dot js so this means ho components home home and then dot js you don't have to write .jsx then when we are there we see there is a we see uh, we are importing a, um, a style sheet block and then we say uh, this is uh, 
with the hooks, uh, React 18 hooks, uh, not with classes. So this means export default and then the function and then we return that stuff. There's not the class definition and that stuff in there. So and inside there I will say, okay, we return uh, you an HTML stuff and um, and from there I say create a um, either a link or a uh, an anchor a classic um, HTML a and href equals front slash articles list so this means that that's the root from the from our uh, from our URL starting from the base so wherever we are that's the base root that's the base root and then articles and list and then we have the we m jump to articles list when we type something in like this articles list the page comes into the uh, the page will be reloaded or retargeted and then it comes into the app and from the app it comes in that router block and from the router block it comes to the to the path front slash articles list and then it loads the element article list component into this big block it loads that stuff into the main block or into the cont uh, uh, content block and from there it opens the articles list the articles list is here from um, from components articles list uh, art uh, articles articles list then we have this one we open here the articles list this one and there is a there I have uh, from the list are different that's normal a listing by fetch uh, but in general it's uh, we see a list of different sublinks and then we have the read article the articles and then read and then question mark ID equals so this is a query string query string equals uh, another way how to write this is in a front slash but what's the difference in our uh, it's a, uh, we, we need in uh, our concept we have to decide in our uh, in our router here how we want to show it if we want to show it as a front slash then we have to write it like this then that's the ID and the, uh, it will the following number a following number will be automatically shown as ID but we want it as question mark from there in plain uh, way how it was done and uh, from there we say read and then front slash star so all the parameters go there and if everything goes there so question mark id equals one uh, this will go in there and it goes into it will open the articles read component now we are in articles read and from there we say here again we have the big block inside there is the export default function so that's the article read component and now we say give me the search parameter so give me search parameter and so it reads all query defs uh, query definitions query parameters and then we say get the id so when we have different uh, numbers stuff query function search parameters or anything else then we will get it like this and that's what we see afterwards in uh, write it into our const id and from there show it in our uh, on our site so i start my site again npm start now we see we are in our blog again that's where we are we are front slash home so this is my base site site my page home page then I'm jumping to the articles list you see the list here uh, the, the URL on the, the bottom so uh, articles front, front slash list when I do this it roots to that to the new component moves the component inside there and now there is this these two links sublinks when we have this one it's articles front slash read or anything else and then question mark id equals one that's the id 
and when I go there it asks the search parameters and and writes the search parameter in uh, parameters into the code or uh, in, into the base where we are working at the uh, initialization and from there we can fetch any uh, sub detail uh, maybe I write this code uh, to the git also and but anyways it's you may write that code by yourself because it's not that difficult and just, just switch through the pages which I've which you have seen there it's always a little bit tricky uh, how will we get the ID for example and then load the fetch and so on